So things continue to heat up in the Eldian country as Marleans show up and they mean business. Also, Gabby's plot armor thickens. Gabby! Gabby! They're gonna get you soon, Gabby! Do you hear me? Uh, Gabby with the plot armor again. But the first thing I want to say is... Thank you. Thank you, thank you for the action popping off in these last few episodes. Because the few episodes before it were pretty damn slow. Now I know things started heating up when that explosion went off in that building and Mikasa and Armin almost got caught in it. But this... This episode and the one before it, shit really hit the fan. Now, of course, there's the huge threat of the Marleans launching a large-scale attack against Eldia, but the way that Gabby is just being saved by writing, and it's becoming even more and more egregious to me, because when the chef finds out that she killed Sasha, he immediately flies into a rage, tries to hit her with a bottle, and Falco jumps in the way. And I'm like, okay. But instead of just killing Gabby on the spot, he instead punches her in the face and brings her up to Sasha's father. So I'm like, okay, maybe he's gonna deal the final blow. Nope! <laughs> He forgives her. So now I'm just watching this like, are you fucking kidding me? She's gotta have the best luck ever to keep coming across these forgiving ass people. And then even when someone else tries to kill her, Is this nigga serious? Mikasa snaps into action and blocks the blow. Like, come the fuck on. Can you let her die, please? Now, okay. I guess we're supposed to be satisfied because she did kind of get punched in the face. But that's not enough to me. She's done so much shit. Killed Sasha. Killed the one guy who was trying to land out of the fucking aircraft. Beat the fucking guy who was supposed to be watching her to death with a rock. She was about to stab the one lady with the fucking pitchfork. And I'm like, why is she coming across the most forgiving people on earth? Like, even Aaron came across more ruthless people than she did. Those grown ass men were probably gonna kill him and Mikasa if he didn't stab them to death when he was a kid. But I just feel like Gabby's been getting away with way too fucking much. But it wouldn't be Attack on Titan if there wasn't some kind of plot twist in the favor of the enemy. So, of course, that bottle that Falco got bashed over the head with apparently had some of Zeke's spinal fluid in it. So now, he has potential of becoming a titan, if triggered by Zeke at any moment. So now they have to keep an eye out for this kid. But yeah, at the end of the episode, Aaron shows up, and it finally segues into the new episode. Man, has Aaron become fucking ruthless! Aaron just straight shows up with absolute fuck you energy in this episode for Mika's son Armin, and they're supposed to be his day one homies. Like... He just goes off on Mikasa, basically telling her about the fact that she's an Ackerman, she's like a worthless slave, and they never cared about each other, and that she's just like, I guess, bred to snap into action whenever somebody tries to do something to him. And like, he's just making her cry, and I'm just looking at him like, bro, like, you did not have to do her like this. All she ever did was love you. And of course, hearing all this, Armin tries to fucking do something to Aaron. <laughs> But then, of course, she proves Aaron right because she blocks the blow from Armin. And then Aaron just looks at her like, yeah. And of course, Armin, I respect Armin's heart. I really do. But I knew he wasn't going to be able to fucking beat Aaron, even when he did land that punch in Aaron's face. When they got back up, Aaron just completely, he went full black air forces on him and he beat the shit out of this nigga. <laughs> And 
And I'm just watching like, damn, Aaron, that's how you do your homies? God damn. Like, he literally beat the absolute shit out of this nigga. Like, he was just some stranger he never met before. This man, I was like, okay, Aaron just being, he just different right now. Because I've never seen him turn up on nobody in a fight like this. Even that time when he thought that fucking Reiner was an ally and they threw hands. He didn't even turn up on fucking Reiner like that. He just turned up on Armin something serious. But then, of course, Aaron leaves and he's looking for Zeke. And we cut to Zeke now, just chilling. Apparently, he gave that spinal fluid to all Levi's people, right? And then they are falling from trees, but never count out Levi. I wasn't even worried for a fucking second. This man, Levi, just, he kills all of them. Soon as this dude, Zeke, thinks he got away, Levi just comes swooping by. And the look on his face is just... That, say that again. I couldn't hear you over the sound of me sh myself. Just, like... I know he had to have shit his pants because the way he just screamed not again and i'm just looking like you know you're about to get bodied you know who the fuck you're dealing with so he does all this shit starts ripping titan bodies apart after he becomes the beast titan thinking that's going to mean a difference when you're going up against fucking levi so of course he's doing all this extra shit and it doesn't mean a goddamn thing levi just mops this nigga up anyway straight bodies him <laughs> Except this time he got fancy and used the Thunder Spears, blew that nigga straight out of his body, then drags his ass away. I was just like, yo. But yeah, man, these last couple episodes have been great. I can't wait to see what happens in the next ones. I hope Aaron is not turning to the dark side on some Anakin shit because that's what it's looking like to me. Like It's looking like he's turning on his friends and like, I don't know, like he just on some I want to help Zeke type shit. I really hope he's not, because I wanted him to punish the Marleans for the shit that they did. But yeah, these last few episodes have been extremely interesting. I hope they keep on pace with this and shit hits the fan even more. But yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It does make all the difference. This has been Marvel Pluto. Till next time.